We're done here. Let's lend a hand to our allies outside, as there are still some prisoners there. Prisoners have been dead for days. There's no one left to set free. Let's get out of here. How did the battle go for you? We prevailed. Your plan was good on all Monawi. Congratulations. And we were able to set the prisoners free. They were completely exhausted, but alive. Do not worry. We will bring them back to Vedluk, so their wounds can be treated. You have shown bravery and righteousness. I will not forget it. I hope to see you in the village again soon. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? I have come to inform you of the crimes committed by the Inquisition on these lands. The Ordo Luminous captured and tortured many islanders in a secret camp in order to convert them. Most of them were executed because they refused to renounce their beliefs. Of course, I put an end to all this at the demand of Queen Deirdre, and the camp was dismantled. How could such villainous acts take place without anyone informing me of them. Do you have proof of what you're saying? Indeed. Here. This should convince you of my good faith. I cannot believe it. 
May the Enlightened devour these wicked fools. I cannot believe the Inquisition would continue their exactions after what happened to them the first time. But Your Excellency, it seems to me as if you have overstepped the boundaries. You could have informed me of the situation, but you chose to fight priests of Teleme instead. Are you trying to break the alliance between your nation and ours? Your Eminence, I intervened at the demand of the natives, who are our allies as well, and would have come to inform you of the situation if I hadn't thought you might give more credit to the Inquisition than to these poor people. You should have let me be the judge of that, Your Excellency. You underestimated us. What do you seek? Will you drive us away too? We will drive away the Renaixe. You are on all Minawi. You will have to pick a side. I see. If you were to be elected, I would need your help to allow me to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann. Only he can help us cure the Malachor. Why should you be preoccupied with a disease striking those we want to drive away? I have my own reasons, but you should know this is the best way for the Renaixe to leave the island of their own accord. You have helped my people. You are our Carants as well. You can count on me to help you. Once I am the High Queen, I will lead you to the Sanctuary. You seem certain you will obtain the title. Those who covet victory must do everything they can to obtain it. Don't you agree? The Old Kings wore a legendary crown, which was lost during the war against the people of the sea. Whoever were to retrieve it would be chosen. And you know where it is? I believe it is located in the Tomb of the Kings. A holy place not far from the village of Ignamri. I do not know exactly where it is. But it is said that the path leading there is strewn with spears. And that the entrance is marked by a dead tree. And protected by a Nadaig Magaman. Do not worry. I will find this place and retrieve the crown before the election. If I want to be certain of the outcome of this vote, I'd better go and get this crown myself. Anything more? I need to be...
What are you doing there? Here lie those who fell facing the first invaders. And you dare enter and scatter their bones. I did not come here with the intention of defiling this place. No. You came looking for a crown of the High King, hoping to choose the one who will lead us. Isn't that what you are looking for as well? Yes, but I am not a Renaixe. I wish to lead my people to victory, and I have come here seeking something that will make it a certainty. And so? Do you plan on keeping it for one of those who is too wise or cowardly to come and get it themselves? Or will you give me the crown? Dertere is a great warrior. If she reigns, she will unite all of the clans. And with the blessing of Enon Milfrichtum and the people of your island will be chased away from here. Think long on this. If you leave her the crown, she will become the High Queen. You will not be able to change your mind. If I give you the crown, you shall be named High Queen. What will you do with this power? You have already shown to all that you are not like the other Renaixe. I will not hide from you the truth. Kirfradi does not want to welcome your people. They toy with us, take without returning, kill and pillage. I will unite my people and cast all of the Monesenaig into their ocean wagons. They will go and pillage elsewhere. You want the crown so you can more easily rid yourself of my presence afterward? If you give it to me, you will become our Karans. And we do not chase away our Karantan. And also, you are on all Manawi. You are bonded to this land, not to theirs, no? I have come here looking for this crown, because I need the help of the next High King. I must meet Enon Mil Frichtemann to ask him to heal my people. Are you sure that they are your people? Very well. It is a very great honor you ask of me. But you took great risks in order to obtain it. If you give me the crown, I will open the sanctuary to you. You may speak to Enon Mil Frichtemann. I swear this to you. Sorry, Dedre. I believe someone other than you must become the High King. Someone more easily manipulated, who will obey the orders of the Renaixe, no doubt. Too bad. You leave me no choice. I have come to take that crown, and I won't leave without it. Enough. I accept my defeat. Take this crown. I am not worthy to wear it, so it seems. So it seems indeed. We will meet again at Dorhad Genedu. Until then, Dirdra. Concerning the crown. Well, you carry in your hands the hopes of an entire people. My people. The one who wears it will be elected. You know that. Have you changed your mind? Or do you seek to humiliate me more? I'm not here to humiliate anyone. But I must be assured that the one who is elected will help me meet Enon Mil Fruktaman. I have already promised you this. 
And you know that once I am queen, I will chase every colonist from this oil. The choice is yours now. I need to... This is true. Unless you're... Own... But... I went into the tomb. I found the crown that your ancient high kings wore upon their heads. And now you count on using it to lean upon the leader you have chose to reign. Yes. I need to be certain that the one elected High King helps me encounter Enon Mil Frigdeman. I already promised you my help in this matter. But the question left unanswered is this. Do you wish that your people may continue to settle here? For our mutual benefit? I need to think a little more. I understand it is a decision that will change the face of Tiafradi. And perhaps even that of your own continent. But do not wait for too long. The Count... I went into the tomb. I found the... And so, you entered into one of our most sacred places. May this adventure have brought you wisdom and understanding of our people and of your own history. This relic is venerated. The one who wears it will certainly be elected. But you know that, do you not? Yes, I do. I need to be certain that whoever is named will help me meet Enon Mil Frichtemann. I have pledged my honor to help you and my words are true. But more is being played here than a simple meeting. You know that I work for a tempering of spirits. The healing of wounds of Tifredi. And those of your own continent. But the decision is yours. To the sun that was lost and refound on our island. I need to think some more. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. You are right to take the time to think this through. It is an important decision. But the Council will unite soon. Have you? Take it. I trust you. In your wisdom, may we be guided towards a peaceful future. The Council has begun to unite. It is time for me to go. Thank you for choosing me. I will do all in my power to bring you what you desire. You have my promise. Congratulations, Dunkus. I'm certain that you will be a very wise High King. And now, are you ready to keep your promise and take me to meet with Enon Mil Frichtemann? You are burning with the impatience of youth. But according to tradition, I must first go to the sanctuary on my own. Without the blessing of Tifradi, my title is nothing but empty, meaningless words. But fret not. How could I be called wise if I went back on the promise I made my friend as soon as I got elected? Meet me at the sanctuary's entrance in two days, and I will open its doors for you. Thank you, Dunkus. I'll be there. 
We spent two days twiddling our thumbs in this village. Don't you think we have better things to do? There you are, Karant. How was the encounter? Enon Mil Frichtemann welcomed me like a mother would welcome her child. Or you will have to meditate on everything he told me, and think about the warnings he gave. But now he's waiting for you. I will open the way. Once you are in the sanctuary, always stay on the right-hand path, and keep a confident heart. Those who let doubt take hold of them and turn back risk awakening the guardians of this place. Kwa Aulam Seg. I hail you, Enon Mil Frichtemen. I have come to you to find a remedy. A cure for the disease of a distant land. Her affliction was to be poisoned by her own children. Her veins rocked in stagnant water. Her earth now bears poisoned fruit, and her children wither and die. And still it is those same children who can heal the lands, and with them heal themselves, if they only want it truly. They could be told by my children, learn to give back in return, learn to heal. But for that, I must survive. I have seen by your side the shadow grow. 
taking form. Fed by the venom of intrigues from faraway lands, he spreads it today in Noisa. To save his own life, he stole my strength, and that strength has driven him mad, because it is not made to be taken. He draws each day a little more from me, and threatens us all. His hunger has no limit. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? The one you call Constantine. You must stop him. Or there will be no cure anymore for anything or anyone. That's... that's impossible. How could that be? You must leave now. Someone has followed your footsteps. Someone has entered here without invitation. My children are waking and track him. They will attack all from us. Flee. I saw a man running out of the sanctuary, and I heard the cries of creatures inside. Is everything all right? Did you manage to get the answers you were expecting? Yes. He told me that the Malachor had appeared because of the way the Colonials have treated the Earth. It's actually some kind of... poisoning. And it would be possible to cure it, but I'm not sure that I understood how. Words that come from the heart of the island carry with them a wisdom which may sometimes be difficult to grasp. If you need help, I would be glad to be of assistance. My clan knows how to heal the earth. Thank you, Dunkus. I suppose I just need time to think. You haven't told me everything, have you? There appears to be a storm weighing down on your forehead. It is true. But it is something I must verify by myself. I see. Do not hesitate to come and find me if I can help you. Qua aulum secarans. Goodbye. My dearest cousin, I'm so glad to see you. You are right on time. We have visitors, and your advice would be most welcome. Let me introduce you to the emissaries of the Bridge Alliance and Teleme. Seeing them both in the same room is rather surprising, isn't it? But please, your excellencies, explain to us what brought you here. Sire, I have come to humbly request your help. We have been sustaining terrible attacks. Really? Are the natives behind this again? Unless it is those traitors of the guard. We aren't sure, but it is almost certain that the natives are involved. Governor Burren is hoping that you could send him your cousin, as well as some troops. It would seem that we are in a similar situation, sire. Our city has been sustaining terribly violent assaults, and our losses are great. Our mother cardinal is begging you to send her some help as soon as possible. <sighs> Dear allies, knowing that you are in such a delicate situation fills me with sorrow. However, the size of our troops has greatly reduced after the horrific attempt at a coup. 
Regarding sending my cousin, he's already very busy undertaking a mission of the utmost importance, without even mentioning the fact that what you describe fills me with fear for his life, which is most precious to me. <sighs> no. I really don't see how I could be of assistance to you. Constantine, we cannot remain deaf to the call of our allies. I'm sure I can find time to go and evaluate the situation. I would love to accompany you, but my people are being wrongfully accused. I am certain of it, and I want to prove it. Very well, my dear. You know I cannot refuse you anything. But remember how urgent it is for this antidote to be found. We are so close to it now. Don't worry about it. You know how important this mission is to me. Well, this audience is coming to an end. Your Excellencies, inform your governors of my cousin's arrival. I hope that you realize how grateful you should be to him. Absolutely, sire. And we thank you both for receiving us. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Constantine. My dear cousin, I am always happy to see you. What news do you bring? I finally managed to enter the sanctuary at the heart of the island, and I was able to talk with Enon Miel Frichterman. How marvelous! Tell me about it. The sanctuary is heavily protected. Only a high king can open it. <sighs> I remember you saying that Vimbar's death wasn't going to help us. How did you fix this problem? I had to interfere in the natives' elections and earn the trust of the pretender who seemed to be the best choice. You really are an outstanding diplomat. My father is an old, bitter man, but he was right about you. Tell me, who did you choose? Dunkus. He's the king of the village of Vigigador, and a Denegad full of wisdom. I'm certain that you have made the right choice. And then what did you do? I was able to enter the sanctuary. It was an incredible experience. It had to be. Oh, how I envy you. Entering the most secret places on this island, talking to a god. What does he look like? Is he some kind of very old and very powerful Donegad? No. In fact, I spoke to an extremely large tree, as strange as it may sound. Fascinating. And I thought that gods were always old bearded men. Did he tell you where the Malachor was coming from? Is it a curse that he cast upon the first settlers? No. According to him, we are responsible for the emergence of the Malachor. By exploiting the Earth so much, we have poisoned it. And the disease has contaminated us through the water that we drink and the plants that we eat. Strange, and yet it seems plausible. So, there wouldn't be an antidote? He says that the Earth can be healed. That his children know how to do it. I suppose he was talking about the Donegada. He also said that by healing the Earth, we would heal those who live on it. This is a fascinating revelation. It won't be easy for our neighbors to accept it, however. I'm afraid that even my father might receive it with skepticism. Did he tell you anything else? Yes. Something rather disturbing. He talked about you. He said his existence was in danger because of you. Really? But that doesn't make any sense. I never hurt anybody on this island. Unlike our neighbors, I have never abducted or tried to convert islanders. I don't think that's what he was referring to. Cousin, please, you know me. I have made some mistakes, but I never threatened anybody. The only person who I put in danger is you. And you know how sorry I am about that. Yes, I do know. Forget about it, will you? This god manifestly wants us to pay for the sins of our fathers and to have his revenge for the invasion. By sowing the seeds of discord between us, he's probably hoping to weaken us. Do you realize that you have succeeded where everyone else has failed? The whole continent should be thanking you. Is there anything you would like to tell me? I must take my leave. Take care, and come back soon. I need to talk to you. 
I have to ask you for another favor. I'm listening, Siora. Do you remember the mind shakers in my village? Yes. If I understand correctly, there was some kind of an agreement made with them. Even though these priests would make good allies against the lions because they hate them as much as we do, my mother would never have traded the spirits of the people of the village in exchange for their help. And she would have wanted to be buried according to our rituals. She was deeply attached to our traditions. So you think that they're lying? Yes. And you understand these Renaigse better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? Of course. Let's go. Hello, my child. What a pleasure to see someone come to us with such eagerness. Do you want to hear the word of Saint Matthias and come into the light? Not really, Father. My name is the Sarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. What can we do for you? We would like to know more about the agreement you supposedly sealed with Bladnit. I do not see how our agreement concerns the congregation. But since you are asking us, we swore to provide this village with all our support in their fight against the Alliance. In exchange, its inhabitants will have to renounce their pagan cult and turn towards the light. My mother would never have made such an agreement. She's the one who encouraged me to become a Donegad. The Queen had understood that the Light was the only true path, even if she was attached to traditions. It is for this reason that we have accepted to seal our agreement according to your own rituals. She had an engraver come to Valristal. He carved your strange symbols in the stone. I do not believe a single word of this. You, the people of the Light, are nothing but liars. You would do well to hold your tongue, young lady. This village is now under our spiritual authority. By not respecting us, you are committing blasphemy. And blasphemy is a crime that we punish severely. Because you think that you can administer justice here. I am the daughter of Bladnid, and you are... Siora, let's not get into another battle and make new enemies. Let's go find this stone. That is an excellent idea. Then you will see that we are telling the truth. we were looking for. It is destroyed. We can no longer decipher the symbols. Strange, isn't it? This stone was damaged on purpose. We will never know the precise terms of the agreement. There may be a way. Promises in stone are a very ancient tradition. Those who want to make these agreements must turn to a keeper of promises. An artisan who makes the stone speak. There are but a few. We did not have one in our village before Karadek's arrival. He must be the one who engraved this stone. I thought you could not write. The Donegada have a secret writing that the Keepers of Promises always learn. Those who want to seal a promise, tell them to write, and they take care of it. It 
hope no one's dead, but the door's left open. Empty. Everything is broken and turned upside down. Empty. A sculpted engraved stone. What happened here? It seems like there was a fight. Everything is scattered around. This workshop was devastated on purpose. The owner must have left in a hurry, taking a few things and destroying the rest. Unless someone else did this. We must find Karadeg. Do you know where he might be? This engraved stone bears the mark of Beraeg Nodas, Don Cass's clan. Do you remember him? Karadeg originally belonged to this clan. He may have returned. Let's go to Vigigidor, and we'll find out. What brings you here on Omanawi? We're looking for Karadeg, the Keeper of Promises. Did he come back to your village? He did come, and then he left. We could not take him back. Did you exile him? Why? He is the one who left. He disagreed with our stance on the Renaixe. He thought that we should be fighting them, throwing them back to the sea. This is why he joined the Gaius Rad, and I did not want him to return if it meant that he would bring his hatred with him. Do you know where he might have gone? He feared someone or something, and he wanted to hide. He must have left for the woods south of here. He knows the area well. Is there anything else? I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkers. Qua awalum seg. What are you doing with these strangers? These strangers are my friends, Karadeg. You can speak in front of them without fear. What do you want? Tell me about your role as Keeper of Promises. What does it consist of? Most words must be free and able to fly like birdsong. But some words must survive those who utter them. So they call on the Keepers of Promises. Those who want to become one must win the trust of the Donegada and prove their wisdom. Then they teach us the words of stone. And when someone wants to seal a promise, we offer them those words. So you're a kind of cleric? Hmm. Thank you, Karadek. Do you want to know anything else? We would like to ask you about a stone you supposedly engraved. It is the stone of the Rinaigs, isn't it? I should never have accepted to seal such a promise. I did not like them, but I could not refuse to fulfill my duty. Not when Vladnid was demanding it. And now that she is no longer with us, these... Monasinaiga are chasing me. It is because you are the last person to know what was engraved on it. The stone has been destroyed. I 
kept the piece of tree bark in which I prepared the glyphs. All the details are there. With this tree bark, we could verify what my mother promised. Can you give it to us? No, Don Agad. I do not mean to disrespect you, but I will not. Rinaikse only bring us trouble, and you come with them. They will disappoint you just like they disappointed your mother. I do not want to deal with them ever again. They threaten my life. And because of them, I am forced to hide here. Since you want to chase the Renaigse away, and since you want protection, why don't you join the Rebels? We could indicate the location of one of their camps for you. The Rebels? The Donea Exregao. They fight the Renaigse, and they accept people from all clans. I have heard about them, but I didn't know where to find them. We could help you join them, but we need this tree bark. It's the only way to prove that the priests lied. In that case, take the tree bark. I hope that it will help you to chase these Renaigse away, Don Egan. And I did not think I would say this one day. But thank you, Renaigse. What do these glyphs say? That we will assist the priests in their war against the lions, and they must help us in return. There is nothing about the spirits of the people of the village, or renouncing our traditions. I knew they were lying. Let's show this to Iselt. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Azeld, about this pact your mother supposedly made with the priests. Yes. Did you find anything new? We went to Falristel to see the stone. Were you able to read it, Siora? No, because it was destroyed by someone. I am certain that the priests did it to protect their lies. You're probably right, but for as long as we cannot prove it... We retrieved the piece of tree bark that Karadeg used as a model. Siora, what's written on it? Mother promised to help them against the lions, and they promised to help us in return. There's nothing mentioned about them settling here. And even less about them being entitled to the spirits of the people of our village. So they lied. They mocked us. And insulted the memory of our mother. I think it's high time they left. Don't you agree? I think so too. Come on, let's go. You lied to us. You took us for gullible children. Leave this village at once. You will never be welcome here again. But... If you want our help with the Alliance, your people must convert to the Light. By lying, you have insulted the memory of the Queen. The entire village will be happy to make you pay for your affront if they hear about it. You do well to leave before having to face their wrath. We are not here to shed blood. Very well, we're leaving. But we will not forget your role in this matter, Your Excellency. I did not think they would leave of their own accord. Thank you, Anol Manawi. Thanks to you, we managed to chase away these lawyers. And we will be able to perform our rituals and give our mother back to the earth. Yes. Thank you. Our village is in your debt. Siora, I will need you for the ritual. Will you help me? Of course, Asir.
Green blood, my friend. The letter we found in Rolf's office was signed by a man whose name I'm familiar with. Herman. I know he's responsible for what happened in this camp, as well as many other crimes. I'm gonna find him and make him pay for what he's done. I know that he's in San Mateus. This quest for revenge isn't only about what happened to Rainer and the others, is it? Very well. You can count on me. What do you plan to do? Major Herman is posted in San Mateus. He's part of the Red Sun Regiment now. He's loyal to Torsten, but kept his head down when the coup was dismantled. Isn't denouncing him enough? He'll be put to death for high treason. The guard's reputation has suffered enough from Torsten's scheming. And he has connections in high places. I'm sure he has many supporters. What are you getting at? Are you going to kill him yourself? If he's well connected, the Mother Cardinal will surely hear about it, and I doubt she'd be pleased. I know. That's the whole problem. We need to get rid of him without anyone finding out. If Petrus were here, he would probably tell us to do the exact opposite. That old fox is as sly as ever. But I don't see what you're getting at. There's a group in San Mateus that could make someone disappear in broad daylight, without anyone saying anything about it. Those mad inquisitors. Exactly. It might not be easy to convince our good friend Aloysius, but it's worth a try. You're right. And if we bring Petrus, he will surely help us sway the Inquisitor. I must say, this is a horrid solution. But if anyone deserves it, it's that bastard Herman. We'll need to find him, though. And he's been keeping a low profile since the coup failed. And we've already seen to what extent the law of silence has on the guard. We need help. Our new commander might be able to tell us who to turn to. She knows everybody. All right, then. Agreed. Let's start by going to see her. Hello, Commander. Lord Desade. And Kurt. I believe I should be thanking you for my nomination. It is your upright and honorable nature that won you this post. Not I. Perhaps sometime in the future you'll curse me for having suggested your name. I hope not. How can I be of service to you? We are here to talk to you about a document we found in the training camp. A letter. Signed by Major Herman. He's behind all of this, Sieglinder. Herman. Kurt, this is personal now. When will this story be finished? I could court martial him, but you know how much certain people support him. I know. He'd probably get away with it. Everyone loves the heroic Major. No. We thought of another way. The Ordo Luminis. You... you want to have them burned as heretics? If he'd been caught as Torsten's accomplice, he would have been drawn and quartered. Do you think that's any less painful? I don't know if you came to look for my help or my blessing. <sighs> you have both. But promise me that you'll stop seeking vengeance after this. You have my word. We just need your help to find Herman. He's been hiding since the failed coup. And you need help in the San Mateus barracks. Talk to the corporal in charge of the prisons. I know him well. He's loyal. He's from the old school. If he can help you, he will. It seems to me that the Ordo Luminous keeps its prisoners in the prisons of the Guard. In fact, if you want to avoid drawing too much attention to yourself, you could bring Herman there directly. I'll write you a letter for the Corporal. Here you go. Thank you for doing this for me, Sieglinder. You're welcome. And don't forget your promise, Kurt. A 
feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. Yes? What can I do for you? Sir, Commander Zieglinder wrote this letter to you. Hmm... I wasn't expecting that. Even though I never really liked the Major, the Commander is asking me to do all I can to assist you in your mission. So what can I do for you? We're looking for the Major. We know that he was posted here. Yes, and officially he still is. But I haven't seen him for some time. Following the coup, he was probably expecting us to go after him. The only people he may have told about his hiding place are his lieutenants. Those two are his henchmen. I see. Well, we'll just have to go and interrogate them. If we bring him to you, can you make sure he ends up in an Ordo Luminous jail? Do you want to condemn him to the stake? That's a bit extreme. Listen. I can lock him up, but you'll have to find a way to keep my men from seeing him. Why is that? All the guards in the city know the Major. If they see him brought here, they'll want to know why. And they will surely take it out on the Inquisition, which could end badly. You're not wrong, Corporal. What do you suggest? If you bring me some sleeping potions, I could put the whole lot of them to sleep. When they wake up, They'll be ashamed of having slept through their watch. But that's better than spilling blood. So you need sleeping potions, is that right? Yes, to put my men to sleep. That would seem the best way of doing it. Perfect. And then? When you have your man, let me know and I'll do the rest. Anything else? We should go. Goodbye. What do you want now? We have come to discuss something that concerns you. Really? I'm listening. We would like to draw your attention to a man who has confessed to terrible crimes. Has he professed heresy? Venerated one of the demonic creatures worshipped by the savages? Not exactly. He's responsible for many deaths and was one of Torsten's supporters who, as you know, was planning to overthrow your governor and take her place. These truly are crimes. But they have nothing to do with the Ordo Luminous. You should denounce this man to our governor. I'm sure she'll be happy to have him drawn and quartered. You should leave me now. Your lack of faith has already been proven in the past. I don't know why you even came to see me. Come now, Aloysius. Are you going to let this regrettable incident obscure your judgment? Incident? 
you call the obvious lack of faith of your protege and his behavior an incident? A momentary error, nothing else. Which she largely made up for by denouncing the commander's plot. To think that without him, San Mateus would be in the hands of faithless, lawless mercenaries, and that we would no longer have any chance of guiding this island towards the light. And that we would no longer have any chance of guiding this island towards the light. You always know how to shine the best light on the situation, don't you? Yet you know that Father Petrus is right. I saved your city with the help of Kurt here. And all that we ask in return is that you help us deliver justice. The man we're here to speak to you about escaped punishment thanks to political support. In a sense, it's ironic, isn't it, Petrus? But you're right. We have a debt towards you, and justice must be delivered. I can't have your man publicly arrested without raising too many questions. But if you arrange for him to come to one of our jails discreetly, I'll make sure justice is delivered. The felon will receive the punishment he deserves on behalf of the glorious enlightened. May he always keep you in his divine blessing, Aloysius. You will soon find this man in your jail. Anything else? Nothing. Now that everything is ready, we should go find these lieutenants.